breaking news, Chicago Bulls forward Patrick Williams is out for the rest of the season with a wrist injury. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking. Of course, I'm going to be here to talk about the Chicago Bulls and here to break down and talk about this horrible, horrendous injury uh, that Bulls fans all had to hear about today in Pat Williams, their second year forward, uh, dealing with and now him being out for the rest of the season. So, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. And guys, hit the bell icon so you are indeed notified every time I drop a new video. Let's get into it. All right, so right off the bat, let's talk about the injury itself, folks. It's a left wrist dislocation. All right, so left wrist dislocation, and it will require surgery. That is why Patrick Williams has been ruled out for the entire season. That part is crazy to me. Not the injury itself, right? Wrist injury, okay. You know, he'll be back in a couple of weeks you know, most, maybe a month or two, but the rest of the season, that part was really surprising to me when I heard that Woj, uh, Shams, all these guys tweeted about it. And, you know, this injury occurred uh, uh, against the Knicks, right? It was when Pat Williams was driving to the basket and he landed on his wrist uh, against Mitchell Robinson. And that's essentially what happened. And yeah, folks, it's the surgery that is going to put him out for the rest of the season, not necessarily the injury itself. Well, it is the injury, but the fact that he has to get surgery, right? Some guys play through the injuries and they push off surgery till after the season. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look to be the case for Patrick Williams. And you know what? I, everybody's saying he's out for the season. Woj tweeted about it. Shams tweeted about it. All these reporters. Maybe there's a potential that he could be back if the Bulls make it to the playoffs, like late, and they will make the playoffs, by the way, not if, um, you know, around that time. But again, not holding my breath on that one. I do think it is officially a wrap for Pat Williams' this season. And it's a shame. It's a damn shame because the second year forward, uh, he was coming, gonna, you know, have a solid role on this team as a starter. He had a fantastic summer league. And, you know, I was really looking forward to his development. And now we're going to have to wait a year to see him again. Now, as far as the on-the-court impact, look, Patrick Williams is one of the better defenders on the Bulls. But I will say this. I will say this, okay? Let's be honest about this. This is not a devastating injury in the sense of, I believe, the Bulls season is officially over. Right? Zach Levine goes down, the Bulls season is over. Booch goes down, it's probably over. Even a guy like a DeMar DeRozan, Patrick Williams is not one of those. Patrick Williams is a nice young player with a lot of promise in this league, but he is not a star or certainly not a superstar uh, yet. So for the Bulls season, I don't think it's over. I think we've got just uh, as good of a shot, maybe not as good of a shot, but we've got a solid shot to still making some noise, getting to the playoffs. As far as the replacements, for Pat Williams, Javante Green started in his place when Williams was out in the beginning of the season. So I expect that to happen again. A lot of people want to point to Alex Caruso being the replacement. I like Caruso off the bench. I think he brings a good spark off the bench. And some guys play better that way. So I want to keep him on the bench and coming off the bench. And I'd like to see Javante Green start because, again, he was solid in his role when he did start. And then you've got Troy Brown Jr. on the bench. Derek Jones Jr., I know he's got a couple DNP CDs. He hasn't really been playing, but maybe he cracks the rotation now. Uh, Kobe White's going to be coming back. Uh, but more importantly, we could get reinforcements at the trade deadline. All right? AK and ME, the front office execs, they could look to trade for a wing uh, or a power forward because that is something that we had desperately needed. And we didn't really get a solid option. We signed a bunch of guys, Elise Johnson, you know, Derrick Jones Jr. We traded for him. Like, we didn't really get a solid option. And I know some of you guys have thrown a name out there, Marvin Bagley, right? The Kings basically are done with him. He's done with the Kings. He's not even playing for them. It's a very toxic situation. Situation. What's the cost to get a guy like a Marvin Bagley, who I think is at this point better than Patrick Williams potentially. So to me, maybe AK looks to do that. But... Let me say this. It should all depend on how the Bulls are looking at the trade deadline. If the Bulls are just cruising along and having the solid start that they have had so far this year and, you know, losing Pat Williams doesn't do much because Javante Green's playing well and the bench is playing well, then I think they can hold off on it. But if they are suffering, I do think AK and ME will swing for a trade piece. They still need more to add more pieces to this team to, to get us to that contender level. But how aggressive they are will depend 
on how they're doing at the trade deadline in terms of their season and their record. So overall, folks, my thoughts on the Pat Will injury. I wish him the best of luck and, you know, prayers out to Pat Will. Hope he gets better as soon as possible. But I don't think this is a devastating injury. I don't think the Bulls season is over. I think the Bulls uh, have enough depth to overcome the loss of Patrick Williams. But if we cannot, I believe AK and, and Mark Eversley will look for reinforcements at the trade deadline. Marvin Bagley is a name to keep an eye on. And I'll, I'll let you guys know of a few others uh, as I come across them. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you agree with As always, thanks for watching.